Good morning, David. Thank you for coming in today. Um, I believe you wanted to talk about um, assistance dogs in the UK and perhaps what's going on with those at the moment. Well, I would, Ross. Uh, firstly, thank you very much indeed for inviting me here. I really do appreciate it because this is a very important issue for many more people than ever most seem to realise. The current situation is that we have got a number of major charities that spend a great deal of money training people and assistance dogs to help them. Whether it is people who are blind, people who can't hear very well or not at all, uh, people who need help with a disability because they're in a, a, a wheelchair, and they, those charities, I have, to, um, I have to make it clear, do a marvellous job. But there is a problem. There's a problem in that there are people who fall through the cracks. They're people who need an assistance dog for their mental comfort, for companionship. Uh, they are just as important and they still, they, those people are classified as disabled. But there is only one charity which tries to help those people and they are unbelievably stretched. Um, AID, Dogs AID, which is, will, will help people who wish to train their own dogs and they will um, uh, appoint trainers to, to help them. So when you're talking about assistance dogs, obviously you've mentioned the larger charities and things perhaps we're all more familiar with like guide dogs for the blind and hearing dogs for deaf people, but you're also including in this the use of perhaps dogs that, sort of emotional support dogs, people that have various um, emotional disorders or... Correct. No, that's exactly right. It's, it's, it's those people who need emotional